Now that you have run the simulation, you are ready to post-process the results. This video will describe post-processing using the line plotting module in Converge Studio, and the next video will describe post-processing in Ensight. The line plotting module in Converge Studio is useful for post-processing the output data and creating plots. Click on the line plotting button in the bottom left corner of Converge Studio to enter the line plotting module. Note that actions taken in the line plotting module do not affect any output or .cvg files. In order to create plots, you must first select the correct case directory and filter so that you can access the results within the output files. You will do this from the plotting dock on the left side of the screen. If the plotting dock is not visible, open it by going to the view menu and checking the plotting dock checkbox. First, Click the button next to the directory field, navigate to the case directory, and click OK. In the filter field below, verify that star.out is entered. For more information on the data contained in each .out file, please refer to Chapter 22 in the Converge 2.2 Theory Manual or Chapter 20 in the Converge 2.1 Theory Manual. To make a preview of the mass flow rates versus time plot, first click on the file drop down menu and select mass average flow dot out. Next, click on the X parameter drop down menu and select cycle number. Then, in the Y parameters list, click on mass flow rate bound ID 1, press the control key, and select mass flow rate bound ID 2. This will select both the inlet and outlet mass flow rates. Note the sign convention for the inflow and outflow boundaries in Converge. The inlet has a negative mass flow rate and the outlet has a positive mass flow rate. These flow rates should sum to zero throughout this simulation. Now you have created a preview of the mass flow rates versus time plot. To create the plot of the preview, click the new plot button and then click the open button to open the actual plot. Note the tabs below the plot that you can use to switch between your preview and plot. Next, click the Edit button to open the Current Plot Style Editor dialog box. Here, you can change the labels, datasets, and appearance of the plot. Click on the Labels tab. In the Title field, enter a title for the plot. In the X Title and Y Left Title fields, enter labels for the X and Y axes, respectively. Note the text formatting options available above the respective title fields. Click OK to close this dialog box. You can also make plot previews for species mass of O2 and N2 versus time if you click on the File drop-down menu and select the species mass dot out output file. Verify that in the X parameter list, time is selected. Then, in the Y parameters list, click on N2, press the control key, and click O2 as well to select both N2 and O2. To create the plot of the preview, follow the same procedure as before. First, click the New Plot button, and then click the Open button to open the plot. Click the Edit button to open the Current Plot Style Editor dialog box. Click on the Labels tab. In the Title field, enter a title for the plot. In the X Title and Y Left Title fields, enter labels for the X and Y axes, respectively. Click OK to close this dialog box. Note how the species concentrations change throughout the simulation. Recall that the initial mass fractions of O2 and N2 in the channel were 0.8 and 0.2, respectively. By the end of the simulation, the concentrations of O2 and N2 match those of air. Finally, we can show a plot of grid scaling versus time. Click on the Preview tab, and then click on the File drop-down menu and select Cell Count Ranks out. Note that if you are using version 2.1 or older, this file will be called cellcount.out instead. Verify that in the X parameter drop-down menu, time is selected. 
In the Y parameters list, select Total Cells. This plot shows how the number of grid cells increases throughout the simulation at the intervals specified in the grid scaling options of the case setup. Now, create a plot of the preview. Click on the New Plot button and then on the Open button. Click the Edit button to open the Current Plot Style Editor dialog box. Click on the Labels tab. In the Title field, enter a title for the plot. In the X Title and Y Left Title fields, enter labels for the X and Y axes, respectively. Click OK to close this dialog box. Note that you can export the current plot as a PDF, SVG, PostScript, or image file. Click on File, Export Plot to open the Export File Name dialog box. In the Name field, enter a file name of your choice, and in the Save as Type field, choose from PDF, SVG, PostScript, or Images. Then click Save to export the file. You can save the entire line plotting workspace as a .psp file by going to File, Save As. Enter a file name of your choice and click the Save button to save the file. The next video in this series will describe post-processing using Ensite.